I'm going to call the meeting to order. We have a. I'm calling the meeting to order. It is six five zero six. So I think that we have a comprehensive list of questions, don't we? The questions that we have that I oh, had here's Carl. are um, the ones that we asked. Are these new questions that we already have? Yeah, you don't want to ask them the same questions again. No. Yeah, John and I developed some questions that I think Bruce um, may have a copy of for you, or yeah, I've got. We're going to write on the paper. There's space for comments. Yeah, we wrote on our papers. That we and have we have 10 time. questions, I think. So I figured we could each ask two of the questions. Okay. Yeah. Hi, of course. Um, I've already interviewed them. I can just. You're a note taker? I can be note taker if you want me to. I asked Rosie to be here out. because she was part of the first um, oh. interview. And um, just ask I thought it would be a good idea. Yeah, Thank that's fine. Okay. Um, this says your name on so the reason it says his name on it and Judith has one that says her name on it is to separate it from the one that John provided today, which has no name on it. Oh, yeah. It should have been the top one in that pile. I have it. The more yes. Sheet. Is this so uh, which questions are we going to ask you? Are we asking the John? marked ones right Dylan's, here? These. The marked ones, yeah. Jewett's is on the side. Dylan's is on the side, and okay. we have the more. Uh, there are a total of 11 questions. The last one being, what questions do you have for us? And the first one being, why did you choose a career as an accountant treasurer? You know, look, these are great questions. My only suggestion might be to jettison question 10 because it's a little negative perhaps. And Seth and I were talking about the need to actually sell this position, especially if we have two people we really like. And I'm kind of afraid that that makes it look like we have people that you shouldn't want to work with or something. Yeah, well, um, maybe we can reframe it or rephrase it, you know, have, because they're not just working um, with other staff. It may be working with members of the public. You know, they might deal with, you know, have to deal with, you know, challenging personalities, whether it be members of the public or, you know, you know, how do they deal with different personality types or how do they adapt their approach to different personality types or how do they adapt their communication style to um, different audiences, something like that. Um, Can we write that instead? Like, how do you adapt your communication styles to different audience or how do you, what was the first thing that you said? You said, um, um, how do you deal with different personality types or do, how do you adapt to different personality types? Something like that. We already asked them that. The yeah, we're trying time. to ask them that already. Yeah. Okay, then let's do the communicate with different audiences. Because I, you know. Yeah. Is that good? Okay. Sure. How do you communicate with different audiences? Yeah, we're going to change number 10 to no, how do you communicate really with different audiences. Although we already have the thing that's a good question about um, how do you explain to a lay person financial. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, how do you respond to challenging questions or no. maybe for yeah. 10? Yeah. We asked. I think we kind of asked that. We did. Yeah. Well, I think there should be, you know, there's in any work situation, you know, there will likely be some, you know, minor conflict and you learn to deal and adapt to it. Um, I don't think we're saying anything that's, you know, we're, blowing the lid on a workplace that, you know, any workplace has different personalities and different ways of approaching a problem. How do you deal with someone who has a different way of approaching a problem than you do? Is that better? I know it's kind of repetitious of what yeah, we've already asked. A lot of these are a little There's bit. There's a lot of questions too. I mean, There's don't we many. want to have time just to kind of talk a little bit? I mean, we do have to have some, some fungible- I'd kind of like to scrap that question myself. Yeah. It sounds like Judith doesn't want this. Um, Just, what do you guys think about that question? What do you think, John? Um, <clears throat> you saw a list of questions. Right? Yeah, I, 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 you know, a lot of times you do ask the question about, you know, if you're having, if you, well, if you have a, a stressful situation with another, with a coworker or yeah. supervisor, how would you go about handling? Usually, you say, well, yeah. we'll talk to them about it. We'll talk it out. We'll try to work it out. If not, maybe we'll have somebody else come in and we'll all work together and try to figure out what's wrong. You know, that's what you're looking for. Is somebody who's going to be a team player as opposed to somebody who's going to be really. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is a little different than what we're talking about. We're talking about stressful situations that came up. And then um, they also talked about, you know, clients that yelled at them and things like that. That's what they talked about. That could about all be part of that. Yeah. 
But this this is a little bit different when you're talking about coworkers. This is more like coworkers. Yeah, we didn't right? really talk about coworkers at that at our last. Because there should be a way of approaching someone if you're having a problem with a coworker. Yeah, we'll just leave it. So just can we just can we rephrase it though so it doesn't yeah. look like yeah, yeah what do you want to say? People you don't like. Um I mean I think how do you deal with a coworker if yeah, you have yeah, a disagreement? So how do you yeah, how do you deal deal with a disagreement between with another coworker? Yeah, that's disagreement true. rather than that's that makes yeah. sense. Um I, I didn't mean to place, you know, make the other person a bad guy or bad oh. guy. Um <laughs> so, so we're good just to be clear, we're gonna have uh, 10 questions in half an hour plus time for them to ask questions of us and in introductions. Is that right? An hour. We have an hour. Oh, okay. Do we only have one interview today? Two. Two. Okay. Um, so so I, I'm looking at the agenda. It says we start the interviews at 5 30 and we're done with them by seven. Is that not what we're expecting to do? I didn't think you'd actually run the full hour, but you have plenty of time to run a full hour. Okay, yeah. so what time is the second person joining us? 6.30. Uh, I, I, I could suggest consolidating questions eight and nine, asking one or the other. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's kind of why I broke them out a little bit, put them next to each other. I thought we might end up consolidating with them. Yep. But hey, Carl, there's no reason why we can't go to 7.30, even 8 o'clock if we want to. Yeah, do you have a date or something? There's no time limit. <laughs> well, we have a second person coming, and, and Bruce just answered my question about uh, when she's coming. So yeah. if, if uh, we have an hour with the first person, then that's okay. Yeah. And, and similarly, questions three and four are similar. They are. So yeah, what, so what's what's going to do? <laughs> so a very similar question. Yeah. Are we going to ask eight or nine? Well, we can mail them together. Okay. Um, Tell about a time when you had a meet a type deadline, especially when you had deadlines. Uh, right, multiple deadline. projects. Multiple deadlines, yeah. Okay. So we're just going to work those yeah. together. Yeah. And then the other one, three and four? Yeah. I mean, I just write write those down. Down. No, I gave up. Okay. And three and four one? could also be phrased together. Three, oh. three and four. Okay. Three and four together. Yeah, three and four. Three and four and eight and nine. Okay. Yep. So and, and um you take many of what here is I'm just gonna say she's completely with detail. It's pretty much the same. It, it, yeah, similar. Similar. What is is it's a the, county error? What is report error? What time? Um, so what did you just say? What steps do you take to avoid errors in your accounting practices and your report writing? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. what is going to if you make an error in accounting, you're going to have a bad report, and then you yep. can have a report with good accounting. So, so what steps do you take to avoid errors in accounting practice and your report? Yeah. And your report. And report writing. And report writing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna. That's gonna be the question, and we're gonna jettison number five. Number four. Well, either one. Okay. It leaves off with the same sentence yeah. in number three, <laughs> and you're just adding. Um, are you gonna redo those or? No, you guys are gonna go with the flow. Hopefully. Can I copy the slide? Yeah, you he had a copy of them, but he stole them. Is that another? Nope, that's another copy up there. Oh. So, oh, how should we divide the questions um, among us? Yeah, Any way you want to do it. Okay, I just grab that back. You want to, you're going to do the opening. Why don't you go sure. through the first question? Did yeah. you want to go around the room? Well, there's only um, one, two, three, four, five of us. So, everyone gets two questions and join the rough math. Except that a couple of people only going to have one question because we meld it two together. I'll go with one question. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. So what I'll do is I'll do one and two, and then John will do three, four. The more one. Because we're sitting next to each other. Yep. He does the more one. Okay, then number five and five, six. Do you want to do that, Judith? Sure. Okay, so I'll put Judith on this one. Oh, and this is me. And this is John. Okay, then we've got Seven, seven. Seven and more eight. 
Seven, yeah, but no, eight and nine are together. Okay. So, Amy, you're going to get broke up. So what am I doing? I'm doing seven? Yeah, seven and ten. Because you're, you're the nicest ten. one of us. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. you, you know how you want to ask that question, so I think it's good that you're asking that question. Okay, and then um, Kyle's going to do eight and nine. I take offense to that, Seth. Roger. <laughs> 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 she's the nicest person present yeah right? there you go good state and, <laughs> and pretend you started the meeting slightly differently <laughs> okay and do the additions to the agenda <laughs> do the adjustments now we can we should have done them before we started oh, this okay but yeah okay let's do the additions right um i got in the weeds on the questions and the thoughts that was important um, which it is, but let's do the additions to the agenda. Agenda. Um, we have time to do them now, actually. Yeah. You want to do them? Now. Ask if there are any. Yeah. <laughs> are there any additions to the agenda? Why, uh, yeah. oh, Why no. yes, there are. Uh, <laughs> I, I would like to have a, a quick discussion item about uh, renewable energy conversions of municipal buildings. Okay. Excellent. Everyone saw the email trail, I assume. One from you, one from Bruce responding. No, I just I just uh, copied you on that, Seth. Oh, yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> just to get it teed up for the agenda. So this is, uh, I got a, a call from Andy Perchlick, uh, one of our state senators, and he was bringing to my attention both some existing money and also um, some future money in H518, uh, setting up the Municipal Energy Resilience Program, which is a bill that's passed the House and has come to the Senate. And uh, that would make uh, five, well, that plus um, an anonymous donor who's uh, willing to pony up $5,000 for the, um, the cause would uh, get us into the five figures to uh, switch out fossil fuel in a municipal building and the fire department already has uh, pellets but we have a possibility of doing some partial or total fuel switching at uh, the town office and or the town garage and i know we're hoping to do some work uh, at the town garage sometime soon anyway so maybe this could be part of it so i just wanted to throw that out there i don't want to spend much time on it um the um Andy, when he talked about it, talked about for this new set of money, uh, maybe we could get to be first in line for it, uh, but it wasn't clear he, uh, how much time, if any, he'd actually spent with the text of the bill because it had just passed the House and the Senate hadn't started dealing with it yet. Uh, Bruce, Bruce's take was there is no line to get to the head of uh, the way it's currently written, at least. Uh, it would just make um, funds available. And um, I just wanted to have this discussion and see if you guys were interested in uh, pursuing this further. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Yep. Okay. Definitely. Very good. Um, are there any other additions? I think that's the only one. That was it. Yeah. Okay, I got one question actually. The, this candidates. is a question concerning the two candidates that we have. Yeah. Now, one, 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 which might be. Yes. Okay. I'm just wondering how would you handle, and I can ask you this, if we're interested in having both of them work here, and one as a treasurer, one as your, the assistant, how would you handle that moving forward? Do you so, is, is this something we want to talk about in executive session? Yeah. I yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so we've got or Orco listening in now. Oh, that's right. Um, but we just wait till afterwards. But yeah. I was just wondering if you could ask any questions in the interview. I don't know if I would do that yet. You know, I mean, you could, but I just, do we know we're doing that now? I'm not sure. We have to hire yeah. some people. Yeah, but if you, like, through might that, ask that again, though, but I just have them come back. Yeah, if you do yeah. that curveball, well, we that can just confusing. But. We can just communicate with them after. Yeah. yeah, that's what I would probably do. That's what I was thinking before, but I was like putting it out there to everyone. Yeah. Should we ask a leading question? <clears throat> would you like to be involved in a different position or something like that? Yeah, well, you know, you, you could just kind of vaguely say something. 
It's kind I could of say it, there's going to be some other positions open in the office. But then it, it's, it sounds like they can. So. I know they're interviewing for this one, but I'm hoping to go from there. <laughs> anyway. I think we could probably call them. Yeah, we can communicate with them. Yeah. Fine. I was just thinking at this interview, yeah. sometimes it's nice to do a little fishing activity. Yeah, to see. I mean, I do that sometimes myself. It's like, hmm, hmm, that's well, a thing to talk to them. It'll it'll don't you want to mark up? Um, it won't be marked up like they marked theirs up. But yeah, that's fine. Like yes. <laughs> well, what is your tactful? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so before we go to the <laughs> executive, session. executive session part, would you? Please do the public comment part two. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just keep you on track. <laughs> uh, do we have any public comment? Nope. No public. Okay. No public. And so then we jump to the board work session. We're done with that. So now we could think, think about going to executive session, or we could wait until Janet shows up. She's here. Okay. So you want to go in executive session right now? Okay, let's do it. Somebody's got to make a motion. I make a motion. We go in executive session. For a personnel matter. For a personnel matter under title. BSA. 1313 1A. <laughs> Second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. So now, um, all recording. Progress. All right, so David is going to be in here, so you're going to have to give him a chance to uh, you know, give him a sense of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We do. You should. And, it, and it's 7.22 p.m. Mm -hmm. that we've come out of executive session. Okay. With no decisions made. No action taken. No action taken. Right. And or no then, action. Did we already mention the continuation until 6.30? On Wednesday, don't we have to say that in public? Yes, we're in public. We, have to, we have to wait till so Carl just said it. <laughs> oh, right here. Oh, we recorded. Okay, yeah, so yeah, so the meetings have to be continued on Wednesday, 6 30. Yeah. Um, and we have to say what we're doing. You can say that you expect it to be in executive session after opening. We for expect to be in executive session on a personnel matter. After we open the meeting at six thirty. Excellent. <laughs> you want me to make a motion now that we adjourn? Can we adjourn no. now? No, we're going to continue this meeting. We are not adjourning it. Oh, can right. we continue? I make a motion. We continue this meeting. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. We have to make a motion. You should make a motion. Okay. I I second that. We All those in favor of continuing the meeting at six thirty on Wednesday, please say aye. 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 The eyes appear to have it, they do have it. Thank you, Carl. See everybody else. <laughs> I like recording on the fly a little bit because we don't usually continue meetings. Right. Right. Yeah. But we are this time. We are. Good idea. Great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it all the time. <laughs> Mark, to your point, are we saving these? Um, no, I guess nobody, I guess they don't do that here. Okay. Okay. So I guess this is when you stop the recording, Bruce. Because the meeting's, oh, the meeting's ended for tonight. Yeah. Yeah, there's no more meeting happening tonight. They continue to 6 30 on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See y'all okay. later. Bye. 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 Thanks. Oh, we should have seen that on the way.